Hey guys, this is Adrian Informodio, and today we're gonna to cover how to back up and archive your finished After Effects projects. Now first, what I'm gonna recommend is that you organize your composition in a way that you're gonna be able to recognize it easily later. And that goes for your files in the project menu with all of your various graphics, audio files. Just to have them organized is going to make a big difference when you open this in the future. Now After Effects actually has built-in tools to help you archive your project. And it's located under File, Dependencies, and these are the various options that we have. So Consolidate All Footage is going to remove duplicate files and save a single copy of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And you'll see it's alerted us for footage or folder items were consolidated. And you can undo this, but we're gonna select OK. I'm gonna go back into this menu. Now remove unused footage is exactly what it sounds like. It's just gonna delete any items from the project that are not being used. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And you'll see After Effects tells us it's removed 55 footage or folder items. Going back to that menu, dependencies, Reduce project is gonna delete everything except for items that are in a specific composition. And this actually includes pre-comps, but it does not include anything that's only referenced by expression. So that's important to note. So I'm just gonna go and select our main composition. This is where all of the work has been completed. And this is really all we need in the case of a backup. So with this composition selected, I'm gonna go back to file, dependencies, and click Reduce Project. So now you'll see 156 items that were not used by the selected items have been deleted. And you can select multiple compositions when you run this script, so keep that in mind. So now we have our project simplified, we've, re we've removed all of the elements that we no longer need, so now we can actually move all of our assets into one place. And to do that, we'll go to File, Dependencies, and Collect Files, and this is gonna move all of the files that are being used by this project into a single folder. We'll go ahead and click that. The project needs to be saved. Okay, so now we have an option. We can collect the source files for all of the comps, for the selected comps, or just the project itself. Since we've already reduced the project, we're just going to use all because we only have one composition anyway. Um, you can choose to generate just a text file report that shows all of the assets being used, but of course we want the project file and all of the files, so we're just gonna leave it as is and click Collect. It's gonna ask us where to save it. We'll just put it on our desktop. And now After Effects is moving everything to a folder on the desktop. All right, After Effects has done compiling all of our elements and it's opened up this folder here and it includes the After Effects project file and a text report saying everything that's included in this project, including the effects and fonts, and a folder with all of the various assets that were used. So now that you have everything in one place, I would recommend including any fonts that were used in the project, and I would create a zip folder of all these files and then back it up on Google Drive or Dropbox just so you have it in multiple places. And then if you ever need it again in the future to make changes for your client, or you just wanna steal a few assets from it to reuse, everything should be right where you need it to be. Well guys, that's the best way to back up and archive your After Effects project files. I hope that's helpful, and I hope to see you again next time.